Craig. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Um, how long has this been in the pipeline? Yeah, it's not been in the pipeline too long. It's you know obviously the process of interviews have, have went through, and I made it clear that I was interested. As I know a lot of people did, full-time football is a, it's a massive lure for me. I've been a professional footballer for six, seven years myself, previous, so to get back into full-time football in, in a club like this is you know, it's brilliant. So is that the main attraction then? Yeah, it is, yeah, definitely, without a doubt. You know, you're know, in a privileged position to be a professional footballer and to earn a living from it, you know, you're in an even more privileged position, you know, and it's something that, it's in my blood. Obviously, I finished my career early at 24, and I've got a burning desire to go and finish what I probably should have as a player, as a manager, stroke coach, whatever it may be. Do you see see this as a stepping stone? Then is that? Uh, well, I'm a very ambitious person, but I, I, same thing as I said when I was at Airbus, that it's only a stepping stone if I do a very good job. If I'm not doing a good job, I'm not going to go any higher. If I am doing a good job, then it's a two-win situation. Obviously, the club are doing well, and I'm doing well, and then we'd see what happens from there. Now, what do you see in the new Saints as something that you know really pulls you here? Well, the, the massive attraction is obviously they play very attractive football, which is something that when I was at Airbus, I tried to, well, I did implicate. You know, it was something that I was adamant in doing the way we we're going to play. In almost CNS, were almost a model of where we wanted to be, as in the standard of football and they've also got very very good players talking about Airbus you know they've been going really well the second half of the season yeah. after you know you know draw after draw yeah. early on which which set you back i suppose yeah now they're at a very crucial stage at the minute big game against Palam yeah. on saturday how how uh, do you see the Airbus situation it's a difficult yeah. time to leave yeah well it's it's never an easy time to leave when you've been at a club for so long and obviously i've i've done I've spent a lot of time at the club with a lot of very good people, so it is always difficult. But same old story, you know. The club's always bigger than one person. I'm sure they'll move on and and, and they'll get on with it, and they'll you know they'll, they'll more than survive and and thrive on it. They've got some very good people there in charge right away from the chairman with Paul McKinley down to Gareth and, and Andy Thomas who'll be taking over for the foreseeable future. In my opinion, you know, they, they, I think they should stay there, them too, because you know the continuity. We've just they just started to come good, so you know why change something that's not broken? As you say, the continuity, everything seems to be coming good. Yeah. It's never a good time, yeah. but is there maybe a thought in your mind that maybe that top six place is just beyond their reach this season? Yeah, no, until it was mathematically impossible then definitely not and that was the that was the thought of the whole camp that that's the way and that's what was drilled into them and to be fair to the lads a fantastic set of lads some very good players there it just actually took four five six weeks to everyone gel together because there had been seven or eight changes made compared to last season so you know I think until it's impossible then they'll be doing the utmost from the top to the bottom of the club to get there. Now you leave Airbus in a very good state yeah, and you must be quite proud of what you've achieved there. Yeah, very proud, very proud. You'd like to think so, and you, you know, you. I think that's the. You look at your mark of success. You know, it might sound silly, but maybe not through what you've won or cups, or because in that period of time you can be up and down. But it's been a constant improvement. In I can honestly say, hand on heart, that the club and I. I think everyone would say the same. That the club is in a lot better position than once I started. No disrespect to anybody else beforehand, because Gareth was part of that. But hopefully, Gareth will be part of taking the club forward. Now, Airbus is in the past for you. You are now here at yes. CNS. Yeah. What are your goals? What are you setting yourself? Or what are the goals that have been set for you for the rest of the season? I don't think there's a, the, the goals. You know, the, they're a no-brainer, really. The, you know, the, the, this club set up to win the league, to win the cup, and to try and win every single game they're in, in in qualify for Europe. You know, that's the whole top and bottom of it. You know, if that's expected and, and that's what should be expected of a club this size. Now you've got a couple of games or one game to go before the split now. How do you see the second half of the season with just the top six then? It's obviously going to be tough, but like I said, we're a club of this size, we'd be going in every single game and trying to win every single game and trying to win the league full stop. Well, you know, 
that that's that's the aim. You know, it's aim for all the players, aim for all the staff from top to bottom, and you know, I don't think I don't think it should be any other thing. Now it's an interesting time to take over. You know, the split and the transfer window in January. Yeah. Any plans for that? Uh, I wouldn't say so much plans, but obviously. Everyone looks to improve all the time, and if it's possible, then we will. Are the funds available? You better ask the chairman that. But you know, as as director of football, myself and Carl Dalton, will try to improve the squad. If it's possible, we won't be just bringing anybody in. But if it's possible for improvements, which which is always as a football club, and especially as a very big football club, you've got to keep moving forward. If you don't move forward then you stand still and, and that's not what this club's about.